Alright guys, so another Amazon Prime watch. I watched Trick or Treats from 1982. And it's not Trick or Treat from 1986 or Trick or Treat from 2007. I have reviewed the 2007 Trick or Treat and thought it was great. Um, I need to watch the other Trick or Treat, but this is Trick or Treats with an S from 1982. Um, this is a movie about a, uh, a dad who, at the beginning of the movie, gets wrongly thrown into an institution, escapes, and it eventually becomes a horror movie. It's This is one of those movies from the 80s that, because of the slasher craze, because of how big horror movies were, this one came out, and obviously it went away. Nobody knows, nobody remembers this movie, um, unless you're a horror fan and seek it out. But this one, I guess I'll get into the story. Like, it starts out normally. Like, it starts out like a normal movie. It doesn't feel like a horror movie where a couple are just talking until the woman, Joan, like, sends away the husband to a mental institution. And, and of course he breaks out. Of course he does. He breaks out of prison. And or an institution. And then there's this plot about this really obnoxious kid that his purpose is just to make the babysitter freak out every time he pretends he's drowning or pretends he chops his fingers off or stuff like this where the majority of the movie is just him fucking with this babysitter. And there's not, and like there's literally nothing that goes on between that. The dad escapes, but then it's just a lot of the scenes of the dad, who's not like intimidating. He's just a normal guy. He just w is walking around on the street. Um, he puts a wig on to look like a woman, and all the guys come to him, and he looks like a man still. He just got a wig on. So all the guys are like, "Hey, baby, hey," and like they just come up and say, "You want a night with me?" Like stuff like that, and it's just stupid. It's it's not really funny, and it, it's a it's supposed to be a horror movie, but it feels nothing like a horror movie. Um, and I don't know. Like there's also this scene where like the mom like. She calls the babysitter, and the babysitter's like, your son is a monster. Like, he's been doing all these tricks, like, to me, and, like, making it look like he's dying. And the mother's like, oh, he's just expressing himself. And then she doesn't say this, but her reaction is like, fuck off. Like, seriously, like, this kid is a monster. Like, what What the hell are you saying? This kid is horrible. Um, she basically tells the mom to go fuck herself on the phone. She's, she says, like, um... Yeah, like your kid needs to be like taken care of, and like they and like the moms just just like shrugs it off, like whatever. My kid's perfect. It's so dumb. Um, but this one, its biggest problem is that it's so incredibly boring because it's not a horror movie until the last ten minutes. This is one of the weirdest like marketed movies where like it's called Trick or Treats. It's a horror movie it's called a horror movie, but. There's nothing horrifying about it besides that the kid keeps playing tricks. So it's like a it's like a tease throughout the whole movie that there's not any real horror, and then it builds to the end with no horror, and then it suddenly becomes a big horror movie chase at the end of the movie. So it's like you you get all this deceiving marketing, and then you get a kind of a horror movie in the last ten minutes. Um, it's just about a kid pranking his babysitter the whole movie. That's not a horror movie. And the only thing that was alright was the ending, because the killer, like, the dad, like, he gets his head caught in a guillotine and it, like, chops his head off. I thought that was cool, but why the hell did a kid have a legit, real guillotine guillotine in his room? That, that just shocks me. What? Like, it was a legit, sharp guillotine that, like... He could, like a human, an adult sized human could fit their head in and get their head chopped off. That is ridiculous. Um, that is ridiculous. I didn't mind the ending. The 90% of this movie was just nothing. Like, I understand horror movies as a slow build up, but this is not a horror movie until the end. Like, there's nothing to it except for the end of the movie. Because the rest of the movie is a kid fucking with his babysitter, like, doing all this shit that makes it look like it's supposed to be scary, but then he just. Keeps teasing the audience and teasing her like, oh, I'm not hurt. I just faked it. And then the ending is just, it's okay. The guillotine kill was cool, but that's the only thing in the movie that's okay. But the movie sucked. Like, this this movie really did suck. I didn't like it. 
Um, I didn't think this was very, very entertaining. And it just was very, very annoying in how they stuck with this not really being a horror movie. Um, this one was lame. That's my thoughts on Trick or Treats from 1982. This one was a lame one. Now, if any of you have seen this movie, which I don't know how many people have seen this one. This is a very rare, obscure one. So, if you have seen Trick or Treats from 1982, tell me down below. And if not, how did you like my review if you watched it? Um, and so that's my thoughts on the movie. So, tell me down below what you think of Trick or Treats. And thank you guys so much for watching.